Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from isocialu.com and in this video, I want to show you a really simple hack or a tactic that you can use on Facebook to spy on your competition and also similar pages. And now I'm sure you're thinking why should we spy on other pages? Well, number one, you can see what's working for them, what type of content is doing good on those pages. And then number two, if it's relevant and if it makes sense, you can also curate that content to your page. Now, the way we do this is we're going to look at an example. So here's the page Apollo Tutors. They provide tutoring services to college students and also high school students and K to 12 grades. So for this page, obviously, the target audience is college students and also moms of kids who are in K to 12 grades. So what I want you to do is on top, go to inside. So under more for you, it might be right here, but make sure you look for insights and then go to overview and scroll down. And here is the magical section, pages to watch. Not many people use this and I wish everyone uses this section because it's awesome. So this is where you can add two to three pages that are your competitors and also pages that produce the same or similar content that appeals to your target audience as well. So for example, for this page we've added student problems, edutopia, student life, K-12 Inc. So all these pages produce similar content. And to add pages here, it's actually super simple. You can click on add and then search the page. So for example, if I wanted to add Forbes, I could do that. There you go. All I have to do is hit watch and then it will get added to that list. And now, so let's look at this. So once you have the list of pages you can compare your performance to people who are in the same people who might be your competition or in the same industry so for example by looking at this i can see we're doing really well when it comes to the growth of the page well maybe because we're a smaller page once you become really big on facebook it becomes really difficult to grow unless you're spending a lot of money on ads but here's another thing the engagement for some of these pages is huge and look at our engagement so what this tells me is we need to up the quality of content that we're posting on this page so there are a couple of things that you can really look at the data and analyze now here is the cool part once you click on this right here and now this is going to show you the best content this week's top post from this page so you can see what's working, what type of content is doing well for your competitors or similar pages. And also if it makes sense, you can share it to your page. And if you wanna share it instead of clicking on the share button, what I would suggest is go to the existing shares and then copy it from the date stamp. So for example, I'm gonna find something that has some engagement. So for example, this, and I can right click here and then copy link address and now I can go to my page and just paste this. Super, super simple. So this is how you can see what type of content is doing well, what's working for your competition or other similar pages. And if it makes sense, you can curate or share that content on your page. And guess what? If a piece of content has done well on a page on Facebook, it's likely to do well on your page, right? Now here is another really cool tactic. So we're gonna go to posts. So we were inside overview, now go to posts. And look at this. So top posts from pages you watch, click on that. Now this is, I call this the best of the best. So here are all the pages we watch and here is the best post from that page during last week. So for example, this post right here, so you don't have to filter through that content, you can just come here and see what's the best performing post on these pages. And then you can click on this. So this post had over 5,000 comments and 13,000 shares, that's a lot and 50,000 reactions. So obviously this is a vital piece of content and if it's relevant and I share this to my page, it's likely to create some engagement among my audience too. So this is how you can use 
the pages to watch section to spy on your competition and other similar pages in your industry so you can identify what type of content is doing well for them and also if it makes sense you can curate viral content that's also relevant to your niche make sure you do subscribe to my youtube channel this channel is dedicated to marketing hacks and experiments and i will see you in the next video